Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, uh, everybody, for coming. Um, we've got a, a number of uh, incidents overnight that we can talk about. Um, initially, the uh, the two armed robberies that occurred at Labrador yesterday, as you, you would be aware of most of the information, but uh, the first one occurred around about 20 past three, which was at 7 11 at uh, Labrador on um, Frank Street. And the second one occurred at the BWS store at Brisbane Road, Labrador at around about 3.30 p.m. Uh, on both occasions, the offender was described as a male uh, in the vicinity of 50 to 60 years of age, around about 175 centimetres tall, um, grey hair, wearing a black baseball cap with a uh, what looks like a blue motive on the front, um, and a, a, either a greeny or a grey long sleeve shirt with, a, with also a motive on the, um, in the vicinity of the left-hand breast pocket. Uh, blue jeans and uh, he was carrying uh, what would appear to be a small um, handgun. Now at the 7-Eleven store, he has discharged that firearm once. Um, and that was the first robbery. Uh, he's gone from there to the BWS store where he has produced the handgun but hasn't uh, discharged it. Any questions in relation to that? Right. So with the first one, yes. when you say he discharged the handgun, can you run us through what happened in that instance? Well, he's he's um, approached the counter and uh, he's made certain demands of the uh, shop assistant. Um, shortly after his, his approach to the counter, he has discharged the, the weapon. It's uh, travelled to the right of the shop assistant, that's to his right, and um, the projectile has struck a uh, cigar um, cabinet um, to the rear. How's the attendant after that? Oh, he's pretty shaken up. Yeah, yeah. Both both attendants were pretty shaken up, both uh, at the Seven Eleven and the BWS store. Was there any indication that he was pointing the gun at the attendant? Well, well, he certainly wasn't pointing the gun at the attendant at the time of discharge because it's gone it's gone to the right hand side of the uh, the attendant, but. Uh, um, at other times, the gun was uh, pointed towards the attendant on both occasions. Was it a warning shot or was he just, just discharged? Or had, the, had the attendant refused to give him anything at that no, point? No, no, no. It would appear from the CCTV footage that the attendant may not have actually been aware of what was going on in the, in the early stages because he's been busy. Um, and um, he probably didn't give the... Uh, the person, the attention he was expecting to get at that point in time. Was the were the two robberies successful for the offender? Like, did they get away with money? Yes, uh, he got away with um, small amounts of money on both occasions. Was it just money, or was he um, asking for anything else? No, he was demanding cash. Any indication that he was alcohol or drug No, not that I know. Of. Is the car description that was released at the time, is, is that connected or is that separate and we brought that out? Um, we have not yet been able to identify any, any vehicle um, attached to this particular offender. Mm -hmm. How did he get from place to place? Well, we can only uh, make assumptions at this point, but um, it's about one and a half kilometres. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you look at the, this, or the difference in time between the two offences being committed, you would have to think that he would have had some sort of transport. Do you think other people were involved? Uh, we don't know. Uh, there's nothing to indicate that at this point. Has he been linked to any other robberies? No, not at this point. Like it's uh, it's a little bit, um, you know, uh, it doesn't fit the normal profile uh, of a, an offender for this type of offence. Um, as I say, he would appear to be 50 to 60 years of age, um, and uh, we haven't uh, linked him to any others in recent times at this time. Yeah. How are the attendants going today? Uh, well, I haven't uh, had, um, I haven't spoken to either of them today, obviously, uh, but police spoke to them yesterday, and certainly um, yesterday they were both pretty sure about it. Sorry. Um, can you give us anything about the shots fired at Collins Bay too? Sure. Um, okay, um, this occurred at the uh, First Choice Fitness Store at the Home Centre on um, Hope Island Road at Oxenford. The proprietor of the store attended this morning, around about the uh, five o'clock mark. 
and has discovered that about um, uh, approximately at this point uh, a dozen shots have been fired through the front of the premises. Um, they've travelled through the, uh, the front doors, the glass doors, and have um, struck some of the gym equipment inside and also into some of the walls. Any indications for why? No, not at this point in time. Uh, we have there's a couple of avenues of inquiry that we're following, but um, we really can't um, we can't give any firm idea at this point as to what the motive might have been. Is the owner of the store linked to any outlaw motorcycle gym? Linked to any outlaw motorcycle Yes, the the owner of the store is uh, an associate of uh, of uh, an outlaw motorcycle gang. Um, that's one of the avenues of inquiry we're following, but there are others too. Uh, we are aware of other. Uh, incidents involving the business that uh, could lead to this sort of uh, incident and uh, and they're not ONCG related. So at this point in time we're just considering all options. What kind of incidents? Oh, it, it's uh, just in relation to internal incidents within the store, within the with staff members, customers, disgruntled customers, that sort of thing. How long has he owned it? I don't know. Is he um, being cooperative? Yes. So he, he discovered that the bullet holes at 5 a.m. When do you think it actually happened? Uh, well, he left the place at 9 p.m. the previous night. We, uh, as you can appreciate, this is still early stages of the investigation, so we actually have police at the scene at the moment who are uh, conducting door knocks and the like. Um, we have identified one person who heard what could have been shots fired around about the 11 o'clock mark, but that's still to be confirmed and we still need to complete uh, the full door knock of the area. Have the owner had any threats made against him? No, not that I know of. Can you say there were other incidents at the gym? Was there anything yesterday specifically that may have indicated? Not that I'm aware of, no. So it sounds, it, it could be read as a warning effectively, shots fired into an empty business after a disgruntled employee or something along those lines? It could be. Like I say, I'm very reluctant, as you know, to speculate on uh, why people do things. Um, it's very early stages of the investigation. Um, we have a couple of avenues of inquiry that we're following, and uh, certainly could be um, could be that, but um, we just don't know at this point. High calibre weapon, do we know? Would appear to be high calibre. We have uh, ballistics police on the scene at the moment, um, so they'll be able to give us a better indication of the type of firearm that was used. Any casings recovered? Uh, not at this stage, but as I say, the, the police are still there and they're still searching. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Very good.